Hero pulling animation. Clink. <sighs> Sorry, not going to work. Marshall, you've got this. Handsome, I'm done! General Ike, sir. The floodgates have been closed. Marshall has done their job. Soren, what's the damage to the surrounding area? It's terrible. All the fields and homes have been completely destroyed. I see. I don't think this is what the enemy general wanted either. So why did this have to happen? It's heartless. What will happen to those who've lost their homes? Can we do anything to help them? You want to aid the people of our enemy? That is time and energy we cannot afford. Soren, take a portion of our supplies and distribute among the locals. What? Are you serious? Our opponent is the Dayan army. We have no quarrel with these people. Ike, I know you feel for these people, but this is war. We don't have- I don't know what it will accomplish, Soren. But moving on without lifting a figure is something I cannot do. I understand. I'd rather regret something that I had done than regret taking no action at all. I would like to help too. Perhaps I can just aid the injured. Easy. Uh, Soren, they're trying to be helpful here. Oh, father. Jill, no matter the reasons, I'm the one who took your father from you. I can't use this war as an excuse. <laughs> if you want revenge on your father, I understand. You have that right. Just know that I have almost the max stats, so you will never win. Mm -hmm. Once you have some time to think th things through, let me know what you will do. I'd like to have you stay with us, but it's truly really up to you. That's all I have to say. <laughs> One, two, three, five in all. We're lucky to have that many. Captain Har, what are we supposed to do now? Making sure my sound is still in check. Jel Shaharm is dead and our homes are gone. What do we do with our families? What do you want to do? We've lost any right we have to stay here. So that leaves Bagnion or Crimea. General Shaharm was slain by Crimea. Drawing them now is not... It's not possible. Then all you can do is return to Bagnion. I doubt you'll get a hero's welcome, but... I have an old friend in the Pegasus Knights. Shall I contact her? <laughs> our gods. 18 long years. What does that mean now? Don't say that. No matter what, I'm proud to have served under General Shaharam. You're right. It was an honor. Yeah, he was a pretty cool dude. I just wish he had better stats. Meanwhile, the Antithesis Hall of Justice. The Dane Keep. Well, that's that. We've gained some time by flying the river, but it won't hold them for long. Foreign car was useless. It looks like this decisive battle will be fought near the capital. Preparations are complete, Petal Patrine. In order to ease command for you, Sir, Bi Sir Brian will serve as your deputy. Regarding strategy, it would be easiest if you spoke with him directly. Sorry to tell you this, Ina, but I'm not the one who will be directing our forces in the capital. Will it be the Black Knight then? Hmm. The plans must be adjusted slightly. Also, someone else is act to us. The damn it. Also, someone else to act as deputy. No, not him either. His Majesty wishes for you to direct the defenses, Ina. Me? I am to take command of the army? That's right. You're moving up in the world, General Ina. Ah, uh, it's too much for me. I must confirm this with the king. Ha! What a rare sight this is. I never see you so flustered. Listen, if you wish to meet with His Majesty, you must fulfill your duties. He's ordered that there be no communications until that time. I am a bit... Well, it isn't the big Black Knight. It's been such a long time. You're also be so very busy, aren't you? Here one day, there the next. Your secret news are... They are proof of the trust His Majesty has placed in me. You know, go to the East Gate. Your, vis your visitor. Very well. Is it the worm? Did he bring you with him? It appears so. He insists that he give it directly over to Eno, though. Hmm. As long as it's ours, it makes no difference. When he returns... You'll be the one to take it directly to the king. Show care that it's not unwrapped on the way there. That could be... unfortunate. I don't need to be told that! More importantly, what will you do now? Me? I will. FORESHADOWING! 
Ina, have you been well? Where is Leron's medallion? Right here. Take it, please. So they have it. It feels so heavy. And it's not all in the wrapping, either. Could this be the chaotic energy of an evil, of an evil god? So, you can now return to King Ashnard's side, can you not? No, not yet. What do you mean? I have been entrusted with the defense of the capital. I must face the Crimean army. No. Thank you. You've done so much for me. But now it's... It's enough. Please, reclaim your freedom. There's no need for you to follow Dane's orders any longer. And you? Do you mean to die? No, I cannot retreat. Even if I was slaughtered the entire Crimean army, I would return to him. Yet he thinks nothing of you. That matters not. The only place I belong is at his side. I will most likely never see you again. I will pray for your eternal happiness. You know, wait. Forget about me. This is my final request. Farewell, Nasir. What? Ina. Dun dun dun. That two-timing bastard. Ah. Oh. Is that clear? Chapter twenty. That was easy. Anyway, during the battle for Talraga, Ike and the rest of his company come to a bleak realization. Wherever the Crimean army marches, the land becomes a battlefield. The damage is immense. Warfare and flood waters claim homes, crops, and hope. Villagers seeking shelter and safely stumble and safety stumble blindly through the snow. <laughs> Excuse me. To them, there is no doubt that the Crimeans are an invasion force. However, the Crimeans have their own homeland to save. Focused as they are on that overriding goal, they cannot stop them even to help the innocent victims of war. The only way they could help the people of Dane is to keep marching. The faster they reached Dane's capital Wassa and put an end to the war, the better for everyone. <laughs> Chapter 21, Without a King Back at the Anti-Hall of Justice, Are you telling me His Majesty has not yet returned? Yes, sir. We sent many messengers, but you have yet to receive any sort of official response. The crowd of is on our doorstep. What is His Highness thinking? If you want to protect the capital, we need a leader equal to one of the four riders, just in case. I'm sure that the King has considered this. Lady Ina, I don't understand how you're able to reclaim so calm. Dane's soldiers are the most elite warriors on the continent. In addition, our members are far superior to the Crimeans. And... And yet they march on Navassa! This is the Dane capital! If there's any danger of falling into the enemy hands, we can let nothing to stop us from protecting it! No offense, Lady Nina, but as a general, I do not feel you're ready for such a vital command. I... I think you are exactly right. Then, when this command was given to you, why did you not firmly refuse? Do you really think that... think that wise, General? Would you refuse direct order from the King? Um... Let me tell you something that I have discovered. If we are... Unable to hold the capital, I do not believe the king will be at all that upset. Ashland does not hold strong attachment to the country of Dane. What are you talking about? Do you... Do you understand exactly what it is you're saying? Yes. Ridiculous. There's an mark, and the world will not be moved by the loss of his own country. Well, Ashnard is the sole exception. Such a preposterous notion is beyond comprehension. General Kasatai, General Kasatai do not avert your eyes from reality. Reality? Ha! What reality is that? All I see is your guesswork. Then that then tell me, why did the king suddenly order the invasion of Crimea? At, at the sanction sanction for that nation choosing to ally itself with those evil and treacherous subhumans. On the surface, that would seem to be so. But doesn't that actually strike you as odd? To apply a sanctions properly, it would be necessary to speak with Benglion first. Benglion is suzerain state, and Crimea answers to her. We need the Be Benyon's leave to make a formal declaration of war. Dane's disregard for that process made us a paria in the eyes of our neighbors, and opened us to attack from all sides. And yet, not only did the king not do this, but he chose to be without warning. It was the worst possible strategy. Furthermore, once the king conquered Crimea through the strength of arms, he seized the castle and set up residence. And now, he uses a stepping stone to, for an invasion of Gallia. 
which means the king's goal is never to apply sanctions or even to defeat Crimea. Oh. If Nashner moves against Gallia, it's easy to envision Phineas, Kilvis, and Goldog joining the conflict. And if that happens, Begnion will be forced to ally itself with Dane rather than the side of the subhumans. Look what that leads us. A continent embroiled in war. Is that not the true desire of the king? If you consider it that way, your words do begin to make sense. Yet, to accomplish that, the citizens of this crime would have to be sacrificed. That would be an act of madness! Let's return to the topic at hand. The king has gained himself a new castle, and I believe he considers whatever land he occupies to be his kingdom. Dane and its people are already behind him. He need not look back. Ah! If the king wished to rule the world, he would not. He would want as much military strength as possible.